Right. So hopefully, guys, you've all got a mat uh, or something soft to lay on. Uh, ideally, a carpet and not a wooden floor because Pilates pretty much we're going to do the whole class laying down just because it's easier for camera angles and stuff like that rather than getting up and down. Um, so make sure you've got a mat. Uh, if you need a little pillow, like a rolled up blanket or a towel underneath your head, if you have um, tight neck muscles, you just want to be comfortable. Um, but yeah, I'm ideally hoping that if any of you've got any injuries or anything I need to know about, you can just drop me a quick message before we start. Obviously, we don't have too long. Um, I should make that a bit smaller. Oh, we have a man. <laughs> One man. Hello, Nigel. <laughs> Are you really in Nairobi? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> cool. Um, so, yeah, we've probably got people from all over the place, which is great. I hope you're all staying safe and well at this uh, bizarre time. My name's Jenny. Um, I'm new to our parks. I'm going to be teaching Pilates every Thursday um, at 1230. Um, I work for University of Roehampton, so we're doing this in collaboration with the University of Roehampton and our parks. Um, just kind of linking up to do some classes, so it's all good. Um, I'm hoping that you've all done a little bit of Pilates before. Obviously, I don't know uh, what your level, what level you're at, so I'm going to do this as a mixed level class. But um, I will start off with some real basics, just because this is my first class with all of you and. I think it's probably better to start off with basics. Even if you've got some experience, it never hurts to go back to the basics. So we'll do the first five minutes of kind of warming up fundamentals and then we'll get straight in and I'll try and give you as many options as possible. Um, I would say that if there's anything that causes you any pain, obviously stop, don't push through pain. I never, never good to push through pain. I don't believe in the no pain, no gain, um, not in Pilates anyway. It's very um, much a slow kind of precise, kind of a mindful movement type of activity so there's going to be no craziness but you could work up a sweat depending on how hard you work um and yeah we're going to get started in a minute i've just got someone sent me a message so i'm just going to just quickly check, see what that is okay cool so anyone that's got any knee um wrist uh shoulder issues things like that try and modify as much as you can obviously if your knees are sore and have something soft underneath your knees, if we are going to be on our knees at all, we've only got half an hour, so I probably um, will only probably have one thing that's on our knees. So if there's something that you can't do for whatever reason, just leave it out. Uh, we'll be moving pretty quickly. As I said, it's 30 minutes. So we're going to get started. All good? Perfect. So we're going to start off laying down. So lengthways on the mat. We're just going to bring ourselves... Um, just down on the mat and we're going to have our feet flat on the floor and our knees bent. And then we're just going to relax down onto the mat, okay? So I just want you to first off, because you've been running around all day and doing lots of stuff, so we just want to calm the body down and just relax the arms, relax the shoulders, relax the face. And just take a few deep breaths here. So try and lengthen the neck as well if you can, just try and lift the head up slightly and move it backwards. Melt the chin down a little bit so you get a bit of a double chin, but don't worry. No one will see you. You're all at home, so we're all good. Okay, so that's just going to lengthen the neck. And then we're just going to take a couple of deep breaths into the ribs and imagine the ribs moving outwards as we take an inhale. So you can even put your hands on the outside of your ribs if you want to, just to check and see what's happening with the ribs as you inhale. So take a nice big inhale through the nose. And exhale. So as you inhale, you feel your ribs expand. And then as you exhale, you feel your ribs kind of shrink in and become slightly smaller and closer together. Yeah, we're gonna do that one more time. Big inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Good, okay. One more time with the breath. We're just gonna put one hand on our lower belly now. So just in between the hip bones. Just rest them there, we don't have to do anything special. And on the next inhale and exhale, so let's inhale again. As we exhale, I want you to imagine drawing your belly in and up and just drawing the muscles of the stomach towards the center line of the body. Yeah, so that's a light activation in the low belly area, just underneath your belly button. Nothing too strong a contraction, it's just a light activation. Yeah, we want to keep that in activation throughout the whole class. So just try and do it breathing normally rather than kind of tensing up and holding your breath okay no one hold breath okay so first off we're just going to start with some simple leg movements 
So I want you to um, take your left leg and as you inhale, just drop your left knee down towards the floor. Don't move your right hip. So keep your right hip still. And then as you exhale, use those abdominal muscles that we just identified to pull the leg back to where you started. Yeah, nice and simple. And we're gonna take the right knee out this time on an inhale. So everything else in the body is super relaxed. Exhale, draw that leg back using these deep abdominal muscles rather than the leg muscles, yeah? Keep alternating. So we're just dropping the knee down to the side, just turning on the outside of the foot and then exhaling back up. So just checking in, you might feel, keep it going, you might feel a little bit shaky, like there's something kind of, uh, some shakiness for the inner thighs and the hip area and the pelvis. That's good. That means that the deep, deep stabilizing muscles, the ones that you can't see in the mirror, they're waking up and they're doing something. Okay, so that's what we want. Exhale back. We're just going to do one more each side. So let's go to the right again. Depending on what speed you're going, you might be on the left now. That's fine. Uh, one more time. Inhale down. Exhale back. Guys, try and make sure that the, the, what you're watching the class on is in the easy reach of your eye line. So you don't want to be kind of lifting yourself up and twisting your head around. Try and have it to the side maybe for a lot of these moves because it's just easier to turn your head. Okay, so this is a little tip. All right, so we're going to progress a little bit more now. So we're going to exhale and float our left knee above our hip. Now our leg has a nice 90 degree angle behind it. And we're going to try and keep that 90 degree angle as we tap down. So we're going to inhale, tap down, exhale, tap up a little bit quicker. Inhale, tap down, exhale, tap up. Now you're still drawing in those low belly muscles to help initiate the movement. Exhale up. Use the breath. Make as much noise as you can. The stronger you exhale, the more contraction through the abdominals. So it's all good to make noise when you're exhaling on these. One more time. Inhale, tap the toes. Exhale, lift back up. Good. Now we're going to place that left foot back down. Let's try with the right leg. So exhale up and inhale, tap down. Good. Nice and steady. Keeping the legs in line of the body. So in line with the hips and not letting them go out to the side on this one. Head stays down nice and relaxed. So this is a gentle easing you into the class. We're going to get a little bit more dynamic in a second. Okay, two more. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. And inhale down. Good. Now we're going to interlace the fingers and take them around the back of the head. So underneath your hair, if you've got long hair, if you haven't tied it back like me. Fatal mistake there. Okay, so keep the elbows really wide. We're just going to do a simple chest lift now to start. We've activated the lower abdominals. Now we're going to work on the upper abdominals and weight them up. So let's exhale, lift the head and look straight through the knees. So not at the ceiling, straight down, tucking the chin. And then we just exhale back down. So nice and easy first off. Exhale and inhale lower, really slow and controlled. Exhale up. Inhale down. Two more like this. And then we're going to add on with the legs. Okay, so exhale, lift up. Use the weight of the head and let kind of push the head back into the hands as well. Now we're going to stay up on this last one. We're going to extend our left leg so the knees are level. And then we're just going to lower the leg down, the straight leg, back up, bend the leg back, foot back to the floor, and then lower. So we're holding a little bit longer at the top. So let's go again. Lift up. Stretch the right leg, lower it down, nice and straight. Stretch the leg far away from you. Bring it back, foot comes back to the floor and then we lower. So we're holding a little bit longer at the top. Let's do two more. Exhale up, keep the elbows wide, extend left leg. Lower, lift, foot back to the floor and then we release. One last time, lift, extend right leg. Lower to the floor, coming back, foot back to the floor, and then lower. Good, so hopefully you felt a little bit of warmth building in those upper abdominals, I know I did. Okay, so we're gonna go into the hundreds. If you've done Pilates before, you'll know the hundreds um, and how lovely it is. <laughs> it's everyone's favorite, maybe not, but it's a good one to do because it really flushes out toxins in the body. Now I'm gonna give you options for this today. So if you have done hundreds before, you will know that we're gonna lift our head and our shoulders up and our arms are reaching forward. So you're gonna keep your head lifted. And this is an option for your legs if you're not very strong in your abdominals. So this is level one, okay? 
So we're gonna start pumping the arms. Our head is looking, or our eye line is looking straight through our knees, and we're drawing our belly in and up to keep our body stable. Okay, so this is level one. If you want level two with the legs, you can take both legs to tabletop. Good, I can see some legs going up in the air, that's perfect. Keep the arms going, keep breathing. Now if you want even more of a challenge, you can extend the legs along the floor and then just lift them up two inches. Okay, so this is the next level. Pretty tough, but I'm sure you guys can do this. Okay, so you're reaching your fingers really long. You're inhaling and you're exhaling. So we try and inhale for five and then exhale for five, but please just inhale and exhale if you need to at a different rate. So that's fine. Okay, you're gonna keep it going. Keep reaching the fingers super long. Keep scooping the belly in and up. If it gets too challenging with your legs like this, you can take them slightly higher for less intensity. Okay, so you can always come back in for the last few rounds. We're over halfway. Keep it going, keep tucking the chin. If your head or neck is bothering you, one hand behind the head just for a little bit of assistance. But try not to take that for too long, okay? Keep drawing the belly in and up. Keep reaching those fingers super long. Keep pumping those arms really fast. Okay, we've got one more set, guys, doing really well. In two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, amazing. Slowly hug the legs in, lower the head down. I hope you felt a little bit of a burn there in those abdominals, flush out those toxins, all good. Okay, so we're gonna stretch the legs out now for everyone. And we're gonna take the arms over the head. So we're gonna come into roll up and roll down. This can be a challenge uh, for some people. So I'm just gonna give you a quick modification. I'm gonna show you quickly, but I want you to move slowly, okay? So as we come up, we exhale, and then the modification is to bend the knees, hold the back of the thighs, and help yourself to come up, but still scooping and rounding the abdominals, okay? And then as you go back down, same thing. Roll back, and then let go. Okay, for everyone else, I really felt that in my abdominals just coming up there. Okay, so we're gonna exhale. Inhale, reaching back, squeezing the legs together if you can, and the glutes as well, the bottom. Okay, so inhale, reach up towards the ceiling. Start to exhale and look down at your toes. Keep exhaling as you come up. So you're either using your modification with the bent knees or you're keeping your legs straight, squeezing them together and flexing the toes at the top. Let's exhale and roll back down. So we're gonna try and sequentially release the spine. So lower back first, go as slow as you can. Amazing, you guys have done this all before. I can see your experience. Let's go again, inhale, exhale. So keep drawing the belly back. I know it sounds counterintuitive as you're trying to come up, but it actually helps release the spine. Okay, we're gonna do two more. So we're gonna come back down and I'm gonna do this to a count of eight so that we all go at the same speed. So let's inhale, start to exhale, look down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, amazing. One more time, inhale, exhale. So it's that middle part, that's the difficult bit, and that's the shaky bit. Four, five, and six, let's go again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Reach back, enjoy a full body stretch, you've earned it after that. Okay, we're going straight into a one leg circle now. So we're going to bring our, let's bring our right leg in and try and level out your hips first and then extend your right leg all the way to the ceiling as much as you can. Now you're going to try and flex, I'm not going to try, you're going to flex the left foot, push the left heel down on the floor to stabilize the hips. Arms just resting by your hips now, relax the shoulders. So you're going to point the toes of the right foot. Now we're gonna cross the body, take it down, out, back, and up to where you started. That's one repetition, we're gonna do five. So we take it across, good, and back up. Now if you feel in any clicking in your hips, which I get a lot of people saying that they do, just try and make the circle smaller and try and really reach the leg that you're circling long out of the hip, that's gonna help, okay? So let's go again, we've got three more. 
across the body, down, back and around. Stop after every circle so that we're not using momentum to kind of get us through. Good, one more in this direction, I think. My uh, counting skills are working today. And then we're gonna go the other way. So remember, keep reaching, keep pointing the toes of that leg that you're circling with and flexing the toes of the other foot. Good. Now notice how it feels on this side, because when we go to do the other side in a second, it might feel a bit different and you might need to tweak it in a certain different way just to make it more comfortable. One more time. Breathe in normally on this one, okay? Just breathe however you want. And then we're gonna swap over legs. So we're gonna shoot that right leg out, flex the toes, bring the left leg in and point the toes. Now, make sure your hips are level again, so you might need to just reposition them slightly. Really draw that belly in and up. This is quite a strong move for the abdominals, but it's also for our hip mobility and strength as well, okay? So hands down by the side. We're gonna cross over, keep pointing the toes of the left foot, keep stretching the leg super long, and up. Good, this is two. So you can push down on the floor with these hands just to help stabilize. And two more. Good. Last one. And we go the other way. So really try and keep the hips fairly still. They're gonna move slightly. And um, that's fairly natural because the leg's quite heavy and it's pulling on the body. So we can't stay still like a statue, but we wanna really try and stabilize and minimize too much movement in the pelvis to try and build some strength. Two more. Good. And one, last one. Back to where you started. Let's just hug those knees in. So you might feel quite a stretch in the inner thighs, a little bit of a stretch around the hips as well, hopefully. Okay, we're gonna roll up to seated or you can turn onto your side and come up to seated, depending on how you're feeling. So it wouldn't be a Pilates class without a bit of rolling. We all love rolling like a ball, hopefully. So we're gonna do two rolling versions, rolling like a ball and open leg rocker. <coughs> Excuse me. If you don't like rolling for whatever reason or you have a really hard floor, you can just hold the balance that we're gonna do. So you're gonna bring the feet in as close as you can to your bottom. Obviously the lady that said that um, she had sort of sore knees, if this causes any problems, just take the feet a little bit further away, okay? Don't kind of squash the knees in too much. Okay, so you're gonna hold your feet in and then you're gonna lean back slightly on your sit bones. You're gonna scoop your belly in and up just to give you a little bit of strength and then you're gonna balance here. And you can stay here just for the balance or if you wanna roll, get ready, come with me. So before you roll, I want you to make sure that you're looking down at your belly and your chin is almost touching your chest just so that you don't roll back on your neck, okay? So you're gonna inhale, exhale to come back up and balance if you can. Good, let's do three more. Inhale back. Exhale up. So I keep the feet in the same position that they start in. Good. Tucked in, roll back, come back up. Let's do one more for luck. Good, now try and balance at the end if you can. And if you have the flexibility, stretch those legs out. If, even if you're here, that's fine. It's even, uh, that's, you know, you still can do the same exercise. But if you have the flexibility, grab hold of the ankles or your leggings or whatever you can grab hold of. And then we're gonna do the open leg rocker. So the feet are roughly shoulder distance now. Probably can't see mine because they're a little bit out of shot, but they're about shoulder distance. So you're gonna keep your arms really long, tuck the chin and roll back. So try not to bend or straighten the arms or the legs. Keep them exactly how they start, yeah? So inhale back. Exhale, roll back up. Or you can just hold here and balance if you don't want to roll, even with your bent knees. You're still working. If we stayed here for half an hour, we'd definitely develop some abdominal strength. Okay, so this is still working, even if you're not rolling. Don't worry about it. If you are rolling, one more time, guys. <laughs> and then back up. Make sure you haven't got a wall behind you like I just did. Give the wall a kick. Okay. So we're gonna come back down to the floor and we're gonna try roll over. My mat's moving for some reason. So roll over, you're gonna take your legs back behind you. So again, just make sure that you've got some space behind you. If you don't wanna do the roll over, I do have an option for you. So legs coming up to 90 degrees, laying flat down on the floor. If you don't wanna roll over, which is this, 
and it doesn't matter if you get your feet to the floor or not it's not really the object but if you don't want to do that if you've got back issues or anything going on then i'm just going to give you this option okay so you're going to slightly tuck your hands under your bottom sort of half and then we're just going to lift the feet up towards the ceiling and lift the bottom off the floor about an inch maybe less maybe more depends on your flexibility so you can do this and you're going to work the same muscles that we're going to work in the roll back and roll over okay if you want to do the full roll over you can lower your legs to about 45 degrees taking an inhale exhale use your hands on the floor to help push you back don't let them kind of just stay there hanging out use your hands now take your feet to shoulder distance and now lower yourself down using your abdominals. So you gotta do it slowly and controlled. Slowly exhale in. We're only gonna do three of these. So if you're not doing the rollover and you're still doing those little lifts, carry on going. Exhale. Feet come to shoulder distance. Flex the feet as well. That'll give you a lovely stretch in the back of the leg. And then roll down. One more time. You can hear. In my voice, I am working. <laughs> it's a bit of a shake. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, shaking is good. It means that we're really getting into those deep stabilizing muscles. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to go for a single leg stretch. So, we're going to hold on to the left ankle with the left hand, the right hand onto the left knee, and the right leg shoots out to 45 degrees. I'm just going to lower my foot down so you can see it. Okay, so we're going to exhale, lift the head and the shoulders and just take the elbows wide out to the side. So you're pulling yourself up. So it shouldn't hurt your neck if you've got any neck issues because this is kind of supported with your hands. Now I want you to keep your foot, your left foot, close to the inner thigh of the right leg. Scoop the belly in and up and then we're going to pull, pull towards our shoulder with the knee and swap. So we shoot one leg out, pull one leg in. Yeah? Exhale, exhale on the pull. Keep those elbows really wide and try not to move your head, your upper body, anything else apart from the arms and legs. So everything else stays really still. Good. We're gonna do eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one we're going to go straight into double leg stretch now so hugging both knees in as close as you can towards your forehead try and get yourself into a tiny ball lift your belly in and up now we're going to shoot the legs out and we're going to reach the arms forward a bit like hundreds but don't worry we're not doing it again and then we exhale hug everything in and rest we're going to do this six times and every time we do we're going to add on a second to hold okay so that was our one second hold we're going to inhale, reach out for two, one, back in. Take the legs higher to make it easier, yeah? Legs lower for harder. Let's go again. Reach out, three, two, one, back in. You can put your head down if your neck is bothering you, otherwise keep it lifted. Let's go again. <clears throat> Four, three, two, one, back in. Looking strong, guys. Okay, let's go. We've only got two more left. Let's go for five. Four, three, two, one. Final challenge on this one coming up for six seconds. If you can, try as hard as you can, guys. Scoop the belly in and up. Inhale. And five, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now hold on to your left leg. Pull it in towards you underneath the knee or above the knee, wherever you can hold on. And we're going to pull, pull again. Get a good stretch on that leg. Pull, pull again. Good, so scissors now. Swap, swap. Exhale, exhale as you pull. So your head and shoulders are still lifted, but your legs are holding you up there, really. A little bit of abdominals as you swap, and then you're using your arms and your legs to stay up. Good, let's do four more. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Now we're going to roll onto our side for a little bit of sideline work because we're running out of time already. We've only got five minutes left. Ah! <laughs> okay, so I want you to line yourself up ideally with the back of the mat so you know you're in a straight line. But if you don't have a mat or whatever, then that's fine. Okay, we're going to have a hand under your head and then the top hand 
it's going to interlace with the fingers behind your head, ideally. If this makes you feel too unstable, just take the top hand away and rest the fingers here. We're going to bring the feet forward a little bit. So hips are stacked, knees are stacked, ankles are stacked. Pick your hand position, wherever that is. Lift the belly in and up, and that should create a little gap underneath your side waist. Now we're going to take the top leg just to hip height, and then we're going to kick forward. So we're inhaling and exhaling to take it back, yeah? Only go as far as you can control your body. So what you don't want is to kind of sway forward and sway back. You want to keep your upper body pretty still. So forwards and back. You want to reach that top leg really long up the hip to keep your hips nice and stable and aligned and you're going to get more kind of lean muscle doing it this way by stretching the leg away elongating the muscle let's do two more last one good now the leg is just going to come in line with the body and the front leg is still forward and we're just going to do a lift up and down so we exhale to lift up Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to hold it there and do a little circle with your toes in the, in the sky, in the sky, in the air. <laughs> okay, five, four, three, two, one. Change direction. Five, four, three, two, one, keep pushing down on the other foot that's on the floor. Go again, change direction. Five, four, three, two, one. One more direction change. Should be burning a bit now. <laughs> three, two, one. Let's roll onto our front because we're almost there. And we're going to do some uh, back, for, back muscle kind of activation and glutes, okay? So you're going to rest down on your hands with your forehead. And we're just going to beat the heels together, but I want us to activate the legs a bit first. So. Rest down, belly lifted in and up, just turn to the side so you can see what we're doing. And then all I want you to do is stretch the legs super long so that the knees come off of the floor but the toes are still touching, just for now. And then I want you to squeeze your bottom and float the legs off the floor. Now hopefully your feet are roughly hip distance, we're going to squeeze the heels together and apart really quickly. So beat, 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 keep it going. This, this kind of speed, yeah? Now I'm going to count 10 downwards, so 10, 9, Eight, you can go faster if you want. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let those legs rest down. Hello, inner thighs. Okay, push yourself up. Turn around to the other side so we can do our leg kicks on this side. Okay, so hand behind the head, feet. A little bit forward so if you do have a mat body in line with the back of the mat feet in line with the front of the mat that's our reference okay so hand behind or fingertips resting here that top leg just comes to hip height squeeze both sides of your bottom that's going to help keep your hips in alignment okay so we could kick forwards inhale exhale back good stabilize with that foot that's on the floor Flex it and use it as your anchor. That's going to keep you really still. Try not to go too fast here, okay? It's tempting to go fast to get it done, but much better to go slow and controlled. So keep reaching that leg long out of the hip. Good. I can see some feet and legs moving around, so it's good. <laughs> Excellent. Let's do three more. And two, so body's in a nice long line, neck is long, no squashing of the neck. Good, now stretch that leg in line with the body, we just go up and down. If you exhale on the lift, it's just gonna help take your mind off that slight warming sensation, should we say, in your glutes, the top one. <laughs> Keep reaching really far with those toes, just trying to touch the opposite wall. That's just gonna, again, activate more muscles. So we only have half an hour, so we have to push ourselves a little bit on this. Good, three, two, and one. Now keep that leg lifted as high as you comfortably can without losing the gap underneath your side waist. And we circle five, four, these are just football size circles, okay? Not too big. Two, one, change direction, five, 
four, three. Try and make them circles and not squares, guys. <laughs> Two and one. Change direction. Not naming any names. I'm just saying. <laughs> I know mine aren't perfect circles, so let's really try. And change again. Last time in that direction, change three, two, and one. Let's roll back onto our front. Push ourselves up to all fours. So if this bob is your knees, you can leave this one out. We're just gonna do a quick back activation before we finish because we are running out of time. So we're coming into a nice flat back position. So if this is not an arch position, but you can do it, just have a stretch, arch your back, lift your head. Exhale, tuck your head under and your tuck your pelvis under as well so get a nice rounded back and then come to somewhere in between those two positions where your back is lovely and flat so we're going to stretch our left leg out right arm along the floor without overextending so that we change the position of our shoulders so shoulders stay still and then once we've found the stability and we've locked in our core so belly in and up then we lift arm and leg stretching long rather than kind of super high yeah so go long first Holding it there. So you're looking straight down at the floor to keep your neck in line with the spine rather than lifting the head. So head down, reaching long. Good. Back down to the floor and then under without changing the position of your spine. If you have a mirror to the side of you at any point if you practice this move, it's really good to just check what's happening with your back. So stretch right leg, left arm, find stability and then flow up. You can even ask somebody that's watching, you know, just to check the position of your hips, because this is what kind of happens quite a lot. The hips lift and twist, and we want to strengthen them in a straight line. Nice, strong position. Good, let's do one more each side. So back to that left leg, right arm. Now this time I want you to just close your eyes and notice if it feels any different. It will give you a stronger connection to the muscles, so you should feel which muscles are activating now if you close your eyes, because you're just not distracted by what's around you. And then slowly back down. Change one more time, right leg, left arm. Float up, close eyes if you want to. Just tune into your body, where are you feeling it? Where is that muscle activation happening? And then slowly back down. And then we're just gonna have one more final stretch. So we're gonna take the front arm up on an inhale. This is giving our mid back a little stretch. And then exhale and just take the arm through and under. So I'm turning away from you now, guys, sorry. Rest the head down if you can. And the ear. And then we just come back up. We do the same on the other side. So we're going to inhale up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, really enjoy that twist in the upper back. And then exhale through, reach as far as you can, and then rest your head down. So you're going to get a stretch in the shoulders the side body, maybe in your glute. Good, and then come back to all fours. And then we're done, because half an hour's gone, just about, we've run over slightly on my clock. So, hope you enjoyed the class, guys. Um, you can always just unmute or just drop me a message um, if you have any questions or any comments. But it was nice to see so many people here and all around the world. Um, have a good rest of day, whatever time it is, wherever you are. And yeah, hopefully see you next week. Um, and we'll have some different moves each week.